Welcome to Divinity Academy. My name is Julian and today I will show you how to create a new sprint in Jira. First of all, let's choose the project that we will be working on. Here you can see all the issues we already created for our sprint. In the column on the left, you can see the backlog where all the tasks and issues are stored. Underneath it, you can see all the active sprints and after each sprint is completed, you will be able to see the reports for it. But let's go back to our backlog. Once we've got our issues created, we can actually create a brand new sprint. All we need to do is hit the Create Sprint button and this new view will appear. Here, you can drag and drop issues that you and your team will be working on during the sprint. You can add as many as you want, there are no limitations. But what's more important, you can also create issues from this view simply by clicking here and adding a summary of the task. You can also add additional information at a later date. This issue will automatically be assigned to the sprint. OK, once you added all the issues, just click the Start Sprint button. It's that simple. A pop-up window will appear and you'll need to add additional information before the actual start. First of all, the name of the sprint. It's imperative to use a name that you'll easily find later in Jira, as there will probably be a lot more sprints and you don't want to lose yours. A good practice is using dates or bigger projects in the actual name. You can also select the duration of the sprint. It can last up to four weeks, or you can even choose a custom date if you need to. Once you do it, you can pick the start date. The sprint can start automatically right now or even a few days from now. The sprint goal is another useful feature. This value will be shown in the description of your sprint, so it could quickly remind everyone what are you actually working on. And just one more click and the new sprint has been started. Now you can see the sprint board with all the issues you chose for the sprint. You can easily manage them yourself or just check what is the current status for each one. Here, you can also complete the sprint even before the previously chosen date. What's more, all the issues that were not finished can be automatically moved to the new sprint or they can be moved to the backlog and you can come back to them at a later date. Once the sprint is completed, you'll be able to see all the reports I mentioned earlier in the video. And that's it. Now you know how to start a new sprint in Jira and you can do it yourself with just a few clicks. So be sure to check out other videos at the Divinity Academy and have fun creating sprints. Thank you.